if someone comes along and asks you to make them a video, knowing what to charge can be tricky to work out. In this video, we're going to give you some tips of how to work that out. Welcome to the Film Look in episode 2 of the Video Production Guide. Get professional assets for your video from rocketstock.com. Their Synergy Video Pack is perfect for video editors and animators looking for versatile elements for any project. Get this pack via the link in the description below. First I want to talk about working for free. This is something we all have to do at the start to gain experience and footage for our showreels. We have a video where we talk all about working for no pay on our channel if you want to check it out. If the first videos you make for someone are free, it's a great time to learn the process and work out how long it'll take you to make someone a video. Even if you're getting paid for work, this is a good practice to have as you can work out how long it takes you to make different types of projects. When you price for the job, tell your client how many days you're charging for pre-production, production and post-production. It's good to do this because your client may look at the price and assume it is simply for the shooting days. Your client may only see you for the time that you're shooting, but remember, there's a lot of other time you've spent working. You might have spent one day planning the shoot, and it's going to take you two days to edit. If you're struggling to work out what to charge, don't be afraid to ask your client what their budget is. It might be a lot more than you were expecting. It also might be a lot lower than you were going to offer. Yes, your hourly rate will be low, but you're still getting paid for making videos. And at the start, any pay is good. Now you have this information, what is your time worth? That's what this video is all about after all. Well, I can't really tell you exactly what to charge as there's so many different things to consider. First, there is your level of experience. The more experience you have, the bigger and better jobs you can get and the more you can charge for them. With some clients, you can charge more for your services, but don't expect every client to be able to pay the same hourly or daily rate. A locally run coffee shop does not have the same marketing budget as Starbucks. Your location is important as well. In some cities like London and New York, you can charge more simply because everything has an inflated price. But if you live in a small city or town, there will be a price cap for video production. Finally, every project will be different in terms of how long it will take you to plan, shoot and edit. A little piece of advice. In the film industry, there's no such thing as a half day's pay. So if the shoot only lasts 2-3 to three hours, you need to charge for a full day as you can't really do anything during that day whilst you're waiting to go to the shoot. Whatever you charge, make sure you're always delivering the highest quality of video and service you can. It doesn't matter if they're offering pennies, give them a video you think is worth hundreds, if not thousands. You never know when they'll need work in the future or if someone asks them if they know any good video people. We'd like to thank Rocketstock for sponsoring this video. If you ever need great video elements, including lower thirds, we recommend you check out their Synergy Toolkit, available at rocketstock.com. It's the perfect way to give your video a professional and customised look. Links in the video description. This is always a tricky subject to talk about, so if you have any experience and you would like to share, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the film look, and remember, achieve it one shot at a time.